My name is Faisal Khan and today I am presenting to you a open source spreadsheet. It's a Google sheet and it's called Revenue Modeling Sheet for Cross-Border Payments. You can use this generic sheet to model pretty much any cross-border payments that you want to do. And let me, so let's go over it. It has to, a couple of sections and I will explain what each section does. So this section is for one-time charges. No matter which solution provider or service provider you decide to work with, they will definitely give you some sort of one-time charges, right? So there may be a broker involved like ourselves. There may be a one-time solution fee by the solution provider. There may be a, you may opt for a mobile app and that may have a fee. There may be a web customization API and all these, by the way, is you can change. So, you know, uh, you could write for debit card processing, whatever, right? So all these can be changed and, and you don't have to account for everyone. If there are only five fees, there are only five fees. If there are 10 fees, there are 10 fees. If there are 20 fees, simply increase somewhere in the middle and the spreadsheet will take care of itself. So you have all these fees and then, you know, you want to ask yourself, do you want to amortize this cost over uh, a certain period? So let's say you have a brokerage fee that's 12,000. You say, yeah, you know what? I don't want to, I don't want it for my purposes of calculation, I want to amortize it. So yes, if you write one, it's a yes. If you write zero, it's a no. That means you don't want to amortize it. So over here, let's say we want to amortize it. We write one. The period you can define for amortization is up to you. Typically, it's 24 months. In some cases, it's 12 months, etc. So that means if you take 12,000 divided by 24 months, the monthly amortized cost is 500. And you know you can put zero or one based on the applicability of these charges. So over here we see that the total charges are eighty six thousand one hundred one, but they're not really eighty six thousand because this is zero, this is zero for amortization, this is zero, this is zero. But this is what you have to pay. And if you amortize it from here to here, I want to be very clear that the amortized amount is only from here to here. It comes out to eighteen hundred and thirty-three dollars per month, right? So that is what it comes out to be. And for um, and 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 like I said, you can take this amount and you you know you can amortize it any any which way you want. So that's the amortized amount. Then there is another thing that you have to understand. So you know the amortized and there's a note over here which is the amortized amount over the period defined, which is this, uh, does not include KYB and KYC information. So. For every client that you typically sign up, there is a KYC cost. It may be a buck fifty, maybe a dollar, maybe ten dollars, maybe two dollars, maybe sixty cents, whatever it is. And for a business, there's the fees is much higher. It's fifty dollars, hundred dollars, eighty euros, I don't know, whatever it may be. And you can put that fees here. And then you can decide to amortize it over twelve months or over you know five months or six months or not at all. It's all up to you. And that amount will show up over here, what the monthly amortized cost is. If it's 13 cents times 12, will give you a buck 50. It's 833 times 12 will give you 100 bucks. So that's the amortized amount for KYC and KYB. Please make sure in the modeling itself, only one of them is used. You cannot have a model for both KYC and KYB. That just is not allowed. So, you know, make sure that you are either dealing with a KYC model or a KYB model, not both. So this is something you'll have to uh, think about, right? Um, another thing you want to do over here is you want to make sure that you are, um, no, actually that's that's fine. So let's go, let's go down to the monthly recurring charges. So the monthly recurring charges, obviously, you know, let's say there's a, um, broker charge, there is a solution provider charge, there may be a mobile web app charge, a software support, API, card processing, bank account, access to banking, compliance reporting, whatever it may be. So these are all monthly charges. And then what we will do also, we will also take the amortized charge from here and place it in over here, right? Um, there may be monthly A fee, monthly B. This, the, I mean, if you don't want it, it could be zero. If you don't want it, could be zero. If this compliance reporting is, you know, let's say only $400, well, input $400, so that's it. So now you have a total cost of monthly charges, which is 9,733. And it says, so you know, that this amount is derived directly from here. So remember we tried, we wanted to do the uh, monthly amortized charge, amortize it over a couple of months. 
So naturally that charge will be uh, included in the monthly cost. So these are your monthly costs and this is what it works out to be. N now you want to, and by the way, I've left a comment section. So when you're putting something over there, you know, you can remind yourself what this is, you know, you can remind yourself what this charge is for, etc. Then the last part is the transaction charge. And this is, this is where it comes in. So let's say we are doing uh, a transaction. The average value is A, right? So what does that mean? Let's say the average value for type A of a transaction. And we are going to be doing two types of transactions. So let's say the average value is $1,000. The number of transactions per month, we are gonna do 1,000. And you know we have the description over here. So let's say we're doing $1,000 a transaction and let's say for debit cards. So this is for debit cards. Number of transactions per month, 1,000. So these are the monthly transaction numbers for the debit card. So if you multiply the two, that's the total volume processed. It's written over here, as you can see. Uh, the volume fee, what is the volume fee? The volume fee is you know, 0.45%. So charging amounts is 445 so if you want to do 0.45 of a million, that is $4,500. So 45 basis points of a million is $4,500. And let's say there's a network fee of 25 cents per charge. So if you got 1,000 of these times 0.25, you got $250. So this again is a um, expense you have occurred. Um, then there is the debit card rate. Let's say the debit card rate is 1.1%. So what's 1.1% of a million? Well, it's $11,000. So we have 4,500. This is the volume charge charged by the solution provider. They're not doing it for free. You have to give them some money. The $250 is the network fee that the network charges Visa, MasterCard, whatever network it may be. And then the transaction, you know, the debit card rate. And now over here, you have to come up with the KYC or KYB. Remember, you can only have one of them. You can't have both of them. Uh, so right now we've said, you know, uh, the KYC is 62.5. And over here, we're saying the KYB is 50%. So we are saying 50% of our transactions are, um, you know, let's say uh, individual and 50% are businesses. What happens if we change it to 60%? If we change it to 60%, then we'll have to change this to 40%. Remember, it, it, we have to make sure that the total adds up to 100. So that's the way it has to work, right? Um, it, we can also do it over here differently. We can add a, a number over here, 40%, but then we can't have 40% over here. I mean, it's just natural, right? You have to add up to 100. So let's say this is the case, but let's reverse this thing. Um, and um, we had a different number of there, 50. It's just to make the math easier. So the monthly cost for all types of transactions A that you've done, you had a million dollars to process, your monthly costs were 4,886.67. Where did this number come from? Ooh. Monthly cost amortized include based on the number of transaction percentage. What does that mean? So this is something you'll have to just think about it slightly more. D39, let's what, look where D39 is. D39 is here, it's a thousand, okay. Um, and it's D39 plus D53. Where is D53? Why is 53 coming over here? Okay, the total number of transactions. So we're looking at the total number of transactions. We're looking at the transactions over here and over here, the 2000. And then what are we doing? And then we're saying, okay, what is that as part of D33, of part of the amortized amounts? Okay, so if the total amortization amount is 9,700, and these transactions represent 50% of that, well, we don't know, right? This, is what the, this was the KYC. We want to look at this figure. What is this figure compared to the total? Remember, we're doing A and B. Those are the two types of transactions. The total transactions are 2,000. So what does this mean with respect to this? So you're simply taking 1,000 divided by 1,000 plus another 1,000, which is 2,000, times this, which is 50%. So that 50% should be 4,886. So that's the amortized portion contribution to this thing. So what's the total expenditure? It's this plus this plus this uh, plus this and this, and this is the amount. And when you take this amount based on the total million dollars that you process, your average transfer uh, percentage is 2.06789.
uh, seven, nine, sorry, my bad. And in dollars terms, for every thousand dollar transaction, you're paying $20.68. The same analogy is required for B. So for example, here we're doing ACH transactions. We are doing, and let's say, we, just to show you how it differs, let's say these are 2,000 transactions. They're not 1,000, they'll be 2,000. And you'll see how the numbers will suddenly change. Um, this number above is going to go down because it's it'll be a third of whatever it is, and this is going to be two to thirds. You see, that's a third, three thousand, and this is two thirds, six thousand of the total amortized amount. So now we have two thousand transactions. Average transaction value is one thousand. The total amount we're processing is two million. Uh, the total volume fee is 0.45, so it's it's you know. 45 uh, basis points of a million is 4,500, of 2 million is 9,000. The ACH charges are 25 cents, so it's 500 of 2,000. Uh, there is a KYB charge. So we're saying 50%. So what does this 50% actually mean? We are saying 50% of these transactions, 50% means 50% of these transactions are going to be KYB'd for the very first time. We have clients, some are recurring, some are not. So if you write only 10%, that means only 10% of these uh, clients are coming in for the very first time. So remember, 50% uh, of this is going to be 1,000, right? Right. And then what, what are we, uh, what's the KYB cost? So the KYB cost is very simply F58, which is, you know, this is it, times, uh, hold on, it's a... It's going to be D53, which is here, the number of transactions, times G15, which is up here, uh, right here, 8.33, that's the amortized cost, times the number of transactions, and you know, 50% of that, and that's because the transactions are 2,000, 50% is gonna give you this exactly. So that number is correct. The monthly cost, these are the amortized cost. You add all this up, you get 24,000 something. That's the average cost of 1.21. And the average transfer cost in dollars is this. And then you can add both of them up. You get your total revenue was 3 million. Your total expenditure you know, was 43,000. The total amount that was actually transferred was this. The total number of transactions was this. The average cost of transactions, if you include both type A and type B, was 1.4460, and the number in dollar terms per thousand was 14.46. It may seem a little confusing while I may be speaking this up, but this is a really, really useful sheet that you can use. You can go to the where, where, where this video is posted. You can go there, simply go to file and copy, uh, duplicate it, and then you can use it as much as you want. You don't have to uh, give any references, etc. that was offered by us. Feel free to use it. Feel free to modify it. I probably will make one more that is now going to have the payout section as well, which is going to include the FX portion, but that I'll do in a couple of days. But anyways, I hope you find this useful. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to ask. Till next time, Faisal Khan, signing out.